On this episode of Beaks Outdoors, as the Utah ice has been slow to form, we take advantage on the open waters with Scott from Where's the Rod.com and Cole Christensen of LakeshoreTackle.com, where we chase the night bite on the Utah Wyoming Flaming Gorge waters for bourbon. These invasive species have plagued these waters since 2006 after being placed illegally by anglers. Stick around to the end as I will show you also how I like to cook these fish as they taste a lot better than they may look. Here we go. Figure it out we'll first. figure that out soon. Normally, I like 25 to 40. Okay. Normally. Well, I'm going to try to fix that ledge where it goes from 30 to like 80. Oh, nice. So. Watching you come in where it was 80 to 30, that they were just off that edge. Uh -huh. I'm gonna see A lot of arches. So what I like to do is I like to hit the bottom, bring up just enough <laughs> slack that you can constantly bounce it on the bottom. Oh, oh bourbon on. Not even dark yet. Okay. This thing's tiny, I can tell. Oh, I know, I got him right off the bottom, literally off the bottom. Yeah. Oh. Burr, 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 burr is the word. There we go. Oh my gosh. I think every hook was in them. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Okay, I'm on, boys. For us, we're, we're excited because we don't do this every day. Okay, since I got stricken to the back of the boat. Okay, what we're doing is we're trying to find the bottom here and then we're jigging it up just a little bit, beating the bottom. And you guys know me, I like to beat that bottom a lot. <laughs> I was just trying to get you guys. No, I know, right? No, I like to pound it in the bottom. <laughs> is that better? No? No. Oh, oh. Well, you guys know me, I like to chase the tigers, so I like to pound it in the bottom. <laughs> is it any better? No? <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked off this boat to keep it up. Oh. All <laughs> right. All right. Now we're back to actual fishing talk. That is, we're. I'm trying to uh, fish off the bottom now. Burbot, you can catch, uh, and, and they, they will be in the columns at time. And sometimes they'll actually be bigger fish in the column than want to eat. But right now, I'm just trying to beat it off the bottom with tackle and get some attention. I mean, we're still a little early. It's on. Number two. Feels like another uh, smaller burbot, but we'll find out. Oh, I don't know if I actually turn on the. <coughs> Going kind of slow here because it's super deep and trying not to blow them up too bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay. the white, the natural, I think is what it is, right? Tiny, but they gotta go. All right, boys, that's two. 
Two for the sicky guy. All right, real quick while we're, uh, we have light here. So we're gonna show you what we're using today. This is uh, Colts. Guy over there makes these tackle. So B squad, I mean, we'll have Colt on a lot more on the episodes hopefully, but this is his tackle right here. We call it a pout, pout bomb? No, that's the banana spoon. Oh, banana spoon. Wow, I just, pout, pout bombs are the more rounded one, right? Yeah, more football shape. Okay, let me, rate, let me try this again. Hi y'all, I'm Darlene Dick's ugly cousin. And I'm gonna help old Mumble Lips over here since he's having a hard time explaining today's tackle options. And help you guys catch more bourbon, whether you're ice fishing or just on the boat. Here we go. First up on the docket, we have the half ounce chicken spoon. Now, this is what Derek's using right now. And it comes in an assortment of colors and it glows. Okay? Find these on the old website. These work really, really well. For all you that like a little bit more heavy girl, we got the 5 8 ounce. Pout bomb. Now these work really, really well in them deep waters, and guess what? They glow. You'll see these on the show now. Five eighths inch pout bomb. Coming in so many colors, but only one size. Five eighths ounce. All right, now my personal favorite, and what I've been using now for a few years, Ling Dingus. Oh, just the way it rolls off your tongue. Ling Dingus. And guess what? They also glow. These are two and a half inch. They have a lot of motion and commotion on them. You can catch your leg trap too as well. And I love to fish these ones in the column. You got all sorts of colors. Just like my nails. Look at those. Look at those pretty nails. Okay? You got, we got some more natural colors. We got some white flakes. Just gonna have to go check them all out online at Ned's Bait Box or ChristianLakeshoreTackle.com. Hope that helps y'all out there chasing those burbot. Let's let these boys get back to fishing. All right, good luck out there, Mama Gibbs. Hope you feel better. These are right here, right here, these, go get them. I set it up right here by the camera. Oh yeah, that, that, see that's so cool. Whoa. Whoa. We got light. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Colt, Colt with the tiny. Oh, Holy crap. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was reeling. I thought you were winding up for the heck of it. No. That is a monster. It is a monster. You could deep fry that whole thing. Sardine. <laughs> you get that one off the bottom? Better than my last one. <laughs> That's not saying much though. <coughs> At least we can size it up on the oh, yeah. Did you get them in the column or in the bottom? That's a good one. Biggest one of the night. Uh, might be the biggest one of the night. He just slaps it down. No, oh, no, that might be. That's definitely the biggest one. over to it. That's a nice one. Decent. Got him. Dang. Bolts on it. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, I've been blessed now. I got some water off that. <laughs> Fishing should pick up now. Scott is the hook. We call him the hook master. <laughs> oh, he was. That fish wanted that thing too. Oh, not bad. Bigger than my first one. Huh? Just happened to show itself in the box. It was chasing it. Oh, it on. <laughs> Bourbon <laughs> off. Okay. Uh, oh, I think that's a trick there. Never did. No, I just handed it. I feel a lie. I just don't know where and how it got in my pocket. <coughs> you got the one that works? Do I? Yeah. Somewhere in here. Just put it back in your pocket? I don't think so. I gave it back to you. Oh, left pocket now. There's alternating pockets. I used it. I had. Oh, right there. It was Okay, yeah, because this one's got issues. Yeah. Okay, quick update. 1217 fish. These guys are playing video games and I've been uh, banned to the back of the boat since I'm coughing. It's cold too. I missed it. I missed all that. <laughs> yep. Got him that time. <laughs> okay, two up, two up. Okay, yeah, stuff right there. Here it comes. Should get just a little fish? Got him. Nice. Don't feel good? No. Come on. Come on. I'm going to get that other one that's down there. Hey, where'd my friend go? Where'd my friend go? Where'd my friend go? Yeah, we got. Well, now it's open the way. Nope. Dang it. Look bigger. Here, I'll just do this. Oh, hold him like a bass, why not? You not seeing it at all? Yeah, I can see it fine. Okay. Cool. That's going to wrap up uh, Burbot Fishing. Big thanks out to Colt with uh, Christian's Lakeshore Tackle. One, for being a sponsor of Beaks Outdoors. Two, for providing us with a boat today and a boat ride out here at uh, beautiful uh, Flaming Gorge. Thanks to Scott for making some great rods. And uh, yeah, with that being said, we're going to get into the kitchen, show you guys how to cook some burbot. Stay tuned. Watch how to cook some burbots. Stay tuned. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. I hate this part of this part. Okay. All right, Big Squad, welcome to the kitchen. Time to do some bourbon cooking. Tell me. Got my cookware, Sheriff. Sure, Sheriff's in town. Keep these bourbon in line. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna turn this 
into poached uh, back straps, I'll call them, no bellies. And the tail area, the tail back, the back of the tails, we're gonna turn this into your better strips, something like that. So, okay, um, I have already skinned them, filleted them, separated them from back straps to tails, no belly meat, washed them, padded them, seasoned them, made the beer batter. We are ready to do some cooking. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna start with the poached. So you have the burbot here. You have the back straps that kind of run almost like a tenderloin. I call them back straps. And then you have the tail section right here. It's flat, back strap, belly, tail. That's what you can really use on a burbot. And by the way, this uh, crayfish came out of uh, a couple, I mean, they were just stuffed. All the burbot had a lot of crayfish. So kind of neat. Okay. How we poach is stupid simple. We're gonna use 7-Up. 7-Up, if you can believe it. Whoa. It's 5 a.m. Life of a YouTuber. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this 7-Up to a rolling boil. And we're not, as soon as it boils, we're not just gonna do it. We actually want it to boil for about a minute or so, maybe two minutes, as I like to say. I like to put lemon in it, normally actual true lemon, but we don't have any. So I'm gonna use crystallized, just like that. And what, what the whole point of lemon is, is changing the acidity of the fish to give it that kind of lobsterous taste. Mix some of this lemon in here. Okay, and we're gonna make some butter as well. So I won't do this until later. All right, see you guys in a second when it boils. I've already pre-made the beer batter. If you guys wanna see how I make my beer batter, I go check out my last video, Fall Crappie Catch and Cook Challenge that has step-by-step -step with Bubba how I make my beer battered goodness. Burbot get such a bad rap. It's so crazy. They're ugly, they're nasty looking. I don't know, they just don't look good, right? And you know, hear people talking about them. They are actually really good. Two days caught, frozen, de-thawed, they're still gonna taste amazing. So, well, this is about to boil. I gotta show you guys something. I got home the other day from uh, Flaming Gorge and I looked in the freezer and my freaking wife, she had picked up a fresh steelhead filet and froze it in the freezer and tried to hide it from me. So you know what this means? I might as well win her back and go do some steelhead fishing, bring home some steelhead, or maybe do Alaska trip. So, terrible, terrible. I can't believe this. I fish a lot. I just got a steelhead filet. Craziness. Still love her though. Here we go. And it's only gonna, it's, it's gonna be about two minutes, two to three minutes of poaching. So, and you wanna do this very carefully. You know what, I'm gonna use the space object. So we're gonna throw a couple in there. Oh, look how delicious these things look. Put the rest in. Okay. All right. Now that that's uh, boiling, let's do our beer batter. And we're just gonna get right into it. Hands on. These are the tails, the burba tails, I call them. You know what? We're just gonna put them all in the batter. Mix these up nice. Just gotta be careful when I take them out. Some burbot tails here. Oh yeah. Oh my God, those smell amazing already. As soon as I get these all in, I can quickly, ouch. Maybe I'm doing too much here, trying to poach and, check that out. Woo, that looks amazing already. Now the tails, I really like to do, ouch, extra crispy. I got that oil really hot tonight. And uh, well, this is finishing up, Check out Scott, put it right here. 
He sent me a clip of his burbot he cooked. Delicious. Said they were delicious. I'm not much of a breaded guy. I like beer battered, but those look good. Okay, I got some ice here. I'm going to take these and just set them on the chilled ice. And again, these are the back straps or tenderloins. Back straps, tenderloins, you want to call it? Okay, a couple of these are done. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, those are hot. 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 Hotness. Hotness. That to that. Come on. Who'd have thought, right? Who'd have thought? And we got our... Uh, our poached tenderloins, back straps, the more shoulders of the fish, and then the tail section where that belly in, or the lungs and belly rib cage ends, and then all the way back. And uh, we got some homemade butter. That's a lot of uh, flake, but yeah, just look at those things flaking apart. Oh, burbot tail. So, my favorite way is either with a yum yum or just, I mean, I was gonna eat it just like this first. <laughs> That's stupid good. Oh my God. Unreal. For something like burbot, just a scotch, a malt vinegar, some London Pubs malt vinegar. Just, just a little dabble. Nothing crazy you want to take away from the fish. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. I could eat these things. B-Squad, you got to try this beer batter recipe. It works. Holy crap. Oh. Mm. Well, yeah. I'm going to eat a whole one real quick. Mm. Rub it down. Oh my gosh. Those are borderline better than crappie. And I love crappie. Wow, that's so good. I'm not just saying that. That is stupid good. Gosh, dang it. That is freaking ridiculous. Wow. Okay. <sighs> All right, that's going to wrap up this episode of Beaks Outdoors. Fishing for bourbons. Fishing with good friends. Spending some time with me in the kitchen. Making some deliciousness. Till next time. Till next time. Ooh, you guys want to see me put this in my mouth? Let me put some better in my mouth. These are so good. Mm.